What is going on YouTube? This is Eminem Gaming. Welcome to another GTA Online guide. Today I'm here, obviously, as you guys may have seen the title, I'm here to show you guys a duplication glitch I just learned about a couple days ago. Now, as you guys can see, I have a lot of these impalers in my, in my garage. I did not buy any of these except for the one I bought, the original. All of these are duplicates. I'm going to explain to you guys what you want to do. The main thing is you want to get as many of the cheapest vehicles that you can find, whether you steal them off the street or whether you go ahead and just go to the website and get the free LEDs. For me, these um, Nissan GTRs and GTR are free, so those are the easiest thing for me just to throw in a garage. But you want to fill up your garage with as many of those as you can possibly throw in. Um, fill up all your garages if you want, however many you want to do. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get your most valuable vehicle that you want to sell or that you want to duplicate so that you can sell the dupe. And then once you've gotten that most expensive vehicle that you have, the most valuable, what you want to do is make sure that it has a license plate on it because you're going to need to put a custom license plate. Because what's going to happen is when you duplicate the vehicle, it's going to duplicate the license plate. And so when you sell the vehicle, if they, it's going to, they have a detection system. So if they can detect a duplicate vehicle, they will just automatically ban you. Before you even sell one vehicle, you get banned. So you want to make sure that you do a vehicle that has a uh, plate. And then what you got to do is go to the iFruit app on the iPhone or the app on the, you know, the Apple product. And then you wanna go ahead and make a custom license plate if you don't have one already. And from that point, you're basically good to go and you can just keep duplicating the car or keep duplicating the license plate that's custom. So what you wanna do is you wanna start up the cashing out mission, which is gonna be right here under jobs. And then um, I'm already in the job, but if you click play job, Rockstar created, if you go down to missions, it's gonna be under the, um, the first row of missions because it starts with a C, cashing out. And then what you want to do is as soon as you start the mission, you want to go ahead and just drive all the way over to the waypoint, which isn't that far. It's about a three quarters of a mile. It's about, you know, maybe 0.8 miles. Once you've gotten to the mission, you don't want to start, you don't want to continue any more of the mission. You don't want to progress any further. You want to go ahead and just go straight to your apartment or personal vehicle garage. Once you've gotten to your personal vehicle garage, which I am in right now, you want to go ahead and jump into one of the vehicles that you are planning on removing from your garage. One of the ones you're, you know, these are the free vehicles that we're not, these are, the, these are just the variables. I'm gonna go ahead and get in one of those. As Soon as you've gotten into one of those vehicles, you are gonna go ahead and slowly and carefully just drive it a slight bit away from your garage, maybe like 10 feet away, just so it doesn't have an issue. Don't crash it, that's the one big thing. Then you're gonna go back into your garage, get the vehicle that obviously you're trying to duplicate, which is worth money. You, know, you wanna make sure you get a, a valuable vehicle so that you make it worth your while to duplicate and sell. And then once you've gotten into that vehicle, you're gonna drive that vehicle out. Normally it will not bring, so I'll show you guys over here. Normally when you get into the, the, like the next vehicle, it won't actually, let me, drive, let me walk over here. Normally the other vehicle won't actually reappear as usual, it will not reappear, but it may actually reappear because it did it earlier to me. So let's see if it does it. So it didn't even reappear that time. So usually it doesn't reappear, but for some reason just now it did it to me, so it's kind of interesting. But once you come outside with your vehicle that you're trying to duplicate, which obviously is this vehicle, you're gonna to go to your interaction menu, click on vehicles, click request personal vehicle. Once you get this message that says delivery in progress, you're gonna wait until you see a new message which is gonna say your special vehicle, your, your special slash personal vehicle is already, um, you know, you're already using your special personal vehicle. Then you're gonna back out of it, drive back up to your garage, go into the same garage again, or it doesn't really matter, whatever garage you decide to go into, as soon as you go into the garage, you're gonna see that you have a duplicate vehicle and that the LED has disappeared. As you guys remember, there was an LED sitting right here. Now it is a duplicated vehicle. Um, we still have a couple more LEDs that I'm, I'm gonna be doing. But um, again, what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that you come out with your, you wanna go out with your car that you're trying to get rid of. And then as soon as you go back in with, you, as soon as you go back in and come out with the new vehicle that you're trying to duplicate, you, draw, you, you call the um, vehicles on the interaction menu, you click on request personal vehicle. As soon as it gives you that message that says you're already in it, you go back in your garage and then that's as simple as that. So again, um, pretty, pretty easy. But what you wanna do is before you do leave the mission, you wanna make sure that you go to your interaction menu, go to style, change your outfit really quickly. And you wanna make sure that you change your outfit because if you don't change your outfit and it doesn't auto save, you may actually have an issue. I usually do it just to be safe. But the other big thing is that you wanna make sure you go to your job list. Rather than going to online and clicking leave session or find new sessions, which is what I normally do, I never even knew you could actually do it this way, you wanna to go to your phone and you wanna click on job list and then you wanna click on the X button or the button that would click delete. And then once you click that and you click confirm, it'll exit the mission and it'll make sure that it saves everything you've done. So that's pretty much all there is to it, but 
just wanted to show you guys this glitch that I found. And uh, shout out to Voltonic, X Voltonic X, for helping me out to do this video. You do need two people to get into this mission. Should have said that at the beginning, but yeah, sorry, you guys. If you guys are still here, good on you. You guys will definitely know what to do now. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.